Pew, 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 pew. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the New Chi Podcast. What's up, everybody? Uh, Bob, a second day, second time. We are uh, doing this during work hours because we are awaiting a special phone guest. Yeah. However, given uh, our friend's um, ability to uh, be on time, one, <laughs> and two, the use of random technology that's not uh, in the gym. <laughs> uh, pretty much, uh, we are waiting for yeah. uh, his okay to say that he's ready. Uh, but uh, before we invite our friend or get our friend on the line, mm-hmm. uh, Bob, uh, how, how have you been? How was your week, man? Um, you know me. I'm always stressed out for some reason. And if I'm not stressed out, I'll find a reason to stress out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It seems that way, right? Absolutely. I yeah. was like, man... Uh, but you know this this uh, getup that you have on right now, and obviously the people that are listening through audio platforms can't see. But we mm-hmm. have a YouTube channel, so check it out. Yeah. Um, I feel like this type of shirt that you're wearing right now yeah. uh, requires a body with muscles. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Maybe. Like a very kind of like Vin Dieselish like a, yeah. type of whatever. So I'm uh, wearing basically long johns. No, what do you, what would you call this? Like thermal. A thermal, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a, yeah, like waffle shirt. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, and, uh, but you know, I mean, you know what? Hey, you get the attire first and then, you know, you can make your body into that if, if that's... Well, I bought this because it was on sale. Uh-huh. It was on the sale rack uh, and I immediately regretted it the next day. Why? Because I put it on at home. I didn't uh-huh. even try it. Uh-huh. I just bought it because uh-huh. it was cheap. And then I tried it on at home, and it's it's a white thermal, oh. and you can see oh high beams. The yeah my high. what do you call it chichis? Uh, what do you call them? Your nipples? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can see through this shirt. Yeah. So I I have to yeah it's now an inner shirt, mm. but I meant to get it as just the the shirt I could wear. I I refuse to wear white t-shirts in general, uh, no matter how thick. The uh, the um, the cloth is uh-huh. mine penetrates <laughs> really? all white cloth. So even if you double up, I mean, I <laughs> there were times where in in Korea uh-huh. they put nipple tape on me. Uh, oh, and uh, on TV, like for like photo yeah, for, 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 for okay. photo shoots, right? <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, are you a marathon runner? <laughs> Far from, my friend. <laughs> Especially right now, uh, I'm getting, uh, I feel a little flare-up coming. Mm. And um, so I'm not happy about it. But Wow, well, man. I was going to ask you, Let's, since we're filming early today, mm. uh, we might get a little, we, we still got to get some work done, but right. maybe we'll have a little bit of time to go grab a drink mm. outside. Yeah. Um, but if you're getting a flare-up, that's not going to happen. I mean, a part of me goes, let's grab the drink. I'll call in sick tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. uh, so you no. were saying that uh, actually before we started the podcast, uh, yeah. you told me a few things that happened oh, during yeah. the weekend All right. that, that uh, you know, you wanted to share with the podcast. Yeah. I'll tell you about how I almost burned the house down. <laughs> <laughs> I almost burned the house down. I almost burned the house down mm. because... You know, we we have an oven for the first time. Wow. First time in 10 years. That's... Like our new place just had an oven. It's very, very uh, uh, unique to, in Korean households to have ovens, right? Yeah. So... My, all this time, the closest thing I've had was a toaster oven. That's not an oven. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, like those, uh, not like a toaster, mm. But a toaster oven, like the size that you can't even fit a frozen pizza in there. Right, right. You got You could put a few bagel Although bites you can, in there. Because I figured it out. Like, I, I know how to... So I have my own way of putting a whole frozen pizza in there. You'd cut it? No. I actually cook it with the door open. open and, then and then as you, it defrosts, you it, bends, it bends up. So all my pizzas uh, are kind of like L-shaped. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you know, I love pizza. Like right. My wife and I, we 
go through like at least three frozen pizzas a week. Wow. Um, and they're small, you know, they, they don't even, they wouldn't even like be as big as maybe one pizza slice in New York. Right. So, but, so I'm sure you brought your, your pizza oven or mm-hmm. not your pizza oven, your toaster oven home mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. your current house. Yeah. But then what made you go, you know what? We got an oven now. Let's use Let's try voice. the oven. That's uh-huh. basically what happened. Mm. Right. And so they're like, let's try the oven. You know, we clean it, we cleaned it and stuff like the, the rent, the people that lived there before us mm. uh, said they never used it. It wasn't even attached. Right. So we actually got it attached um, when we moved in by the gas guy. Right. And so we fired it up. I put the pizza in there. Mm. And maybe 10 minutes into it, it just smelled really bad. Mm. I was like, it's not the pizza that smells, but it can't be. It's got to be like the oven hasn't been used mm-hmm. in a long time. Mm-hmm. So maybe it's like something, it's just like, I don't know. Like, right. I, and it was almost like I could, maybe it was like gas or something, but right. I was starting to get nervous. And then I saw smoke come out of it. Right. I opened it and there's no smoke coming from the pizza. Right. And then I forgot that. The bottom drawer mm. is a a broiler, right? Right. So I pulled out the broiler, and I forgot that my mother in law mm. put all our tools in there, Ooh. like the hammer, screwdrivers, like <clears throat> multiple hammers and screwdrivers, and all our nails and clips and all that stuff were in two plastic Tupperware. Eesh. And so they were halfway melted down already. Yikes! And like the nails were the nails were like seeping out, like coming out of uh, like flowing out from the top. And then at the bottom of it, she lined it with a peri baguette uh, paper bag. So that why? didn't catch on fire yeah. yet, yeah. <laughs> but it was like getting close to why would, why would, why would she put it, the, put it there? So, um, you know, catch any oil coming uh. off of the tools. I don't know. <laughs> of, of the tools? Yeah, or I don't know. Why like, would the tools be oily? I don't like. Right, well, I don't know. So she just put it takata. Right, you know? right, 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 right. You know, right. I mean, the tools are dirty. Well, I get it. Right? Yeah. So she she put that down. Yeah, yeah. And then so we immediately got chike. What do you call that in English? Tongs. Tongs. Yeah. And uh, we got two pairs of tongs. She did one. I did one. I grabbed <laughs> just in time. Like it smelled so bad, Danny. Uh, it was, it would have been really bad. Now Mm. in this situation, whose fault is it? Um, I, I had known it was in there. So it was your fault. Yeah. But it's also like, I was mad at the moment. Mm. Like, you know, I don't know if my mother-in-law has ever had an oven. <laughs> so I, I don't like, think most why, Koreans why, why, know, know the yeah. use of an oven. Yeah. Like, you know, cause I don't... mean, so I, I kind of, it made me remember when we had a dishwasher growing mm, up, mm. we had multiple dishwashers in different house, right. houses, but we never used the dishwasher. Right. It was basically where we put the dishes after we washed it by hand. Right. Right. And I never used a dishwasher till I was like in college, after college or something, mm. I saw someone use it at their house yeah. and I, I couldn't believe it. It was amazing, right? <laughs> my, I remember my brother having one at one point and then I told him, hey, why don't you use a dishwasher? It's awesome, I saw it. Like right. I saw someone at college use it. Right. Uh, and he's like, he's like, no, water is free mm. and electricity is it's not. It's not free. Right. And that's basically, I think why we didn't use it growing up as well. Or hmm. water's much cheaper than electricity. Huh. So washing it by hand was like, yeah, it was a means of saving money. Interesting. Right? Cause, Cause I use, I, at my last place in, on Berendo in Cape mm-hmm. Town, mm-hmm. I did use a dishwasher. You uh, did? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very, it was like, oh, this is so easy. Have you ever used the wrong soap? What do you mean? Like use like uh, like actual? What do you call it? Yeah, like hand pulp, soap. Pulp, no, or no. something. Yeah. No, we would buy like those uh, those pods. The pods. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, or, uh, yeah. or the dishwasher soap. You're not supposed to put in certain soaps. Like like regular. Yeah. The regular hand, whatever, whatever, like Dawn or that that kind of shit, right? So, so I don't. I think 
Yeah, yeah. I think it was either my older brother or Eddie.、Uh-huh. I remember they. I mean, they didn't use it growing up either. Right. And then we had w- used the one ten Airbnb altogether,、mm. and I think it was the first time they used the dishwasher、oh, no. and put one of the wrong soap in、yeah. there. And if you put the wrong soap in, it gets、uh, a lot of foamy, a lot, lot of foam. Yeah. And it comes out of the dishwasher bubble bath time, all、baby. over the kitchen. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> I I I saw it firsthand.、Right. So like, if please, if you're not、um, an immigrant to the U.S. and you see like an Asian person, like or kill for someone, like, now fuck、uh, it, let them do it. Let them. Yeah. You know what? Let them learn the lesson. Be forgiving. That way. Be forgiving is、yeah. what I'm saying. If、yeah. you see them mess up doing that、yeah. kind of thing, then none of this please shit. <laughs>、uh, for me.、Um, Uh, be, because I don't have a tub,、mm-hmm. right at home. Like back when I had a tub, yeah. Every now and again, I would、uh, temira on my own、uh-huh. at home, exfoliate, right. But given that I don't have a tub,、uh-huh. I haven't done it since I moved here, and I don't like、uh-huh. going to the jimjibang, jimjibang, or、yeah. whatever, right? Get temiri, right. And then,、uh, like it's been showing, and I've known the existence of this product, but I've I've seen it so much on like you know those ads on Instagram, you know, like、uh, those Instagram Which ads. Which one? It's like a spray、uh-huh. that you just spray on your body. Yeah. And then if you just rub. Yeah. Like you just exfoliate. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, like it's not even like you need a hard ass like. You don't need the the. The green, no, or the yellow, really hard desu. No, but, you can literally like、yeah. as if you're flirting with your、uh, yourself. Yeah, right. You know, you can just softly just rub your、uh-huh. skin after you spray it, and that comes out, right? Interesting. And so I bought it. Yeah, and I tried it yesterday.、Uh, g- given that I have like、uh, psoriasis and there's、uh-huh. a lot of just kind of like built up scales and scabs. Yeah, I've decided like it probably works. Like the cream that I'm taking works better,、mm-hmm. sand scales, right? Okay. So like I just started, just I sprayed it on my elbow. Yeah. And then、uh, for those that can, like I sprayed it on my elbow. Yeah. And and then just kind of just kind of、Did、lightly the, rushed it.、Uh-huh. So like, and I was like, oh my god, it's working. It like、worked? all this that just came out. Like I、oh, think, <laughs>、really? I think I lost weight. Like I and and after、really? I did it on my elbow, I just on my my arm.、Uh-huh. I was like, I can't just have like. <laughs> <laughs> one like exfoliated arm, yeah,、right? yeah. So I just took off all my clothes and I just sprayed myself, you know, and then just 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 started like rubbing myself, right? And I'm like, ew, I think I lost a few pounds. Like at least I I think I lost at least like a quarter of a pound of 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 that. I gotta get that stuff, right? That's、uh, I mean, like you can't go to Jim Jibam Bang these days, right? Right. So you can't even get a Demiri by Ajishi, right? So that's a good alternative, right? Right. So I don't know, like, if it's、uh, like the the if there's, you know, like if it's good for your skin or not.、Mm. But I, I figure, like, why would they sell it if it's bad for you, right? But it was legitimately your your dirt, dirt coming up, your your death、yeah. coming up,、yeah. right? You don't think it was like. It was the spray causing yeah, the death. That's kind of that's kind of fuck, fucked up genius move. <laughs>、yeah. But I felt like my my、mm. my skin was a lot smoother.、Uh-huh. And then like I you know like that that patch that you saw on my elbow. Yeah, it had like flakes.、Uh-huh. But then once I did it, it would like all a bit rubbed off. Okay. So, so was it cheap? It was like two bottles, like fifteen bucks. That's not bad. Yeah, I gotta get me some yeah, of that. Yeah. So uh, um, it's I, I will I will I will take a picture and show you. I think、mm-hmm. it's called like the peeling or some some、okay. shit like that.、Um, but、uh, I was like that one, <laughs> that one was very interesting, dude. I know the the previous episode I talked about my、uh, infatuation with coupang,、mm-hmm. right? But I am on it every night before I go to sleep, being like, what other stupid purchase that I might need? Yeah, you know. The dead peeling one, I thought it was very necessary. Yeah, and I was excited about that. You know, if I saw that and I could, yeah, I would buy that. Right. Yeah, that's like, a that's a good purchase. Especially like like I saw it because,、um, uh, you know, like、uh, Instagram gives you those ads.、Mm-hmm. 
you know, and, and a lot of times I'm like, are they, are they like monitoring me? Because yeah. I would never search for the peeling spray or like I need to damn it all. Or your conversations. Yeah. Maybe yeah. they, they hear you talking about your psoriasis a lot. Yeah. Maybe, or no, or maybe they just have the video on you and they see you're a dirty bastard. <laughs> I was like, how do they know I would buy this, you know? And then I just went to search. Uh -huh. And the, you know what the uh, the commercial, on uh, the ad is, is mm -hmm. like just a random person like sprays like the, the bottom of their foot. Yeah. And then just, just literally just rubs it with their hands mm -hmm. and all this shit comes out. I'm sold. Yeah. I'm sold. And I was like, oh, yeah. that is amazing. So yeah. anyway, uh, you can damn it out at home. With just a spray, and you don't have to like like soak in in water to pull your the day. You know I'm gonna I'm hit you up about this because right. I know I'm gonna be laying in bed one night right. and just like gonna hit you up. Right. Hey, what was the name of that thing again? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, I never have another story uh -oh. uh, about what happened to me this weekend. Mm. So I go to church, right, right with uh, and with my in-laws. Mm my wife and kid, mm. right? So it's uh, right now you have to apply to go or basically yay up or, uh, you know, make a reservation because they can only accommodate like so many people right. during this time, right? So we, we call ahead and we go to service on Sunday and I didn't know, uh, but like for Sunday school, I go to Sunday school with my son, mm. right? And uh, it's for the really little kids, the babies, my son's age, right? Right. So I can even ba barely know what they're talking about. My Korean is so bad. Wow. You know, but you know, I, I get more out of that sermon sermon than I do the adult sermon <laughs> because at least there's puppets and like visuals, <laughs> you know, like, okay. Oh, they're talking about King David because, you know, right. or, or Solomon or something. Right. And then, and then at least I know the story and the, the context, right? <laughs> so I usually go to his service mm. But we can't have two, two parents just to make it even more like um, sparse. Right. In the service, they only allow one of the parents to stay with, the, with your, your kid. Mm. So I've been having to go to the regular yebe. The adult yebe. My wife won't leave me alone with the, the right, kid. Right, right. Because, yeah. Because there's all these instructions for the parents, mm. like, and uh, yeah, everything goes over my head. So, <laughs> so I've been, you know, I've I've been to service, but right. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what they're talking about. Right. It's like really difficult for me. Sometimes I get really tired and I nod off actually. Mm. So I don't want to do that and embarrass my my in laws because oh. I sit with them, right? So I've been like, um, uh going out to get coffee mm. near the church. Right. And it, you know, service is only like, like an hour. Right. So I, I usually go get coffee. Um, by the time I finish it, I drink it slow. And I, you know, I try to do, look at wholesome videos or like on YouTube or something <laughs> just to feel <laughs> better about it. But <laughs> wholesome videos. Yeah. No, I look up a sermon or something. Uh. And then, so, um, to f this, but this last Sunday, uh -huh. I went to a cafe too close to church. Right. Right. And so I was there and I got caught by one of the other fathers. <laughs> At first, I was like, oh, he's playing hooky too because he's in the same situation. Right. And I, I saw him. I was like, oh, he's like, oh, your wife was wondering when you're coming back, actually. I was uh, like, what, you came to look for me? Uh, no, I was, he's like, no, no, I just talked to your wife. She said, you went to go uh, get, I told her I'm gonna go get a coffee because we got to church early. Right. And then I'll be back um, and go to Yebe. Mm. And then I guess she was looking for me. Uh, and so she was like, oh yeah, your wife's looking for you. She said you were gonna get coffee, but you never came back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then he caught me. Clear and then I felt like so embarrassed. Um, so I was like, oh, I was like, I just, yeah, I had more, I had to watch yeah, work some to do. video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I had a work to do. It was so embarrassing, yeah. man. Maybe like, Collab needs to make some wholesome videos. I was doing some research. But nothing's changed. <laughs> like I, I used to cut school a lot in right. high school, right. in junior high school, because I lived alone and it was right. just like, it's easy not to 
go to school, but did you have um like a perm not a permit, but like so in my my high school seniors for lunch mm -hmm. could leave campus. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. As, as long as they came back uh, yeah. during after the whatever the period we, we, after we lunch. had that for yeah. seniors, yeah, 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 yeah seniors. Yeah. And also seniors could come in a little late. We had shorter days. Huh. Yeah, because yeah. I, I thought it was very interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, in New York, it'd probably even be crazier because like, you know, like mm -hmm. New York City, yeah. like it, like everyone, you know, like buses or, 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 mm -hmm. or trains it or, and, and, and everything's yeah. right there, right? But in South Pasadena, uh -huh. everything's kind of spread out. Yeah. So you got to get in a car and leave and then oh, come back. Oh, that's right. You guys had right. cars and parked right. them at school and right. stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. We didn't. We so didn't so we would like go to, uh, uh, we would leave. And then that's crazy because nobody's going to, I mean, I mean, absolutely nobody is going to mm -hmm. uh, come back after lunch, right? And so the amount of, absence or tardies after the the period right after lunch uh -huh. was out of control to a point where like uh you know they were almost thinking about disallowing oh that really move. it was that bad but that's the thing is that yeah. there is this um so there's this uh um it's like a hamburger slash burrito joint called lucky boy okay in, in pasadena mm -hmm. it's kind of famous it's off the 110. If you if you take the 110 all the way, mm -hmm. uh, like you know how the 110 ends in Pasadena. Yeah, sure. If you just sure keep out whatever, mm -hmm. there's a there's a there's a place called Lucky Boy, okay. right? And their breakfast burrito is out of control, right? It's really and good. So, but it will put you to sleep. So it's <laughs> like so I would always me and my friends would always go there, get the breakfast burrito, all sausage double the sausage, <laughs> and then add a side of ranch. Okay. So they would bring you salsa regularly, mm -hmm. but the thing has like hash browns, uh, a, a shit ton of eggs, uh -huh. uh, breakfast sausages, that sounds like cheese. A, 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 that sounds like a San Diego burrito, if it had potatoes in it. Yeah, but no, they, mm. they, but this is like, but breakfast shit. So mm -hmm. like breakfast food, right? It's like a breakfast burrito. Yeah. Okay. And so I would throw in obviously the salsa, like the pico de gallo. Yeah. But then the side of ranch. Yeah. And then you eat it. And then, you know, that 110. That's the weird part, the side of ranch. Yeah. But okay. Oh, dude. Sounds good though. It's, yeah. it's not weird at all. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. So I eat it and there's no way. I was like, why would anyone eat? You know what? Anything... That's considered breakfast food in the Western world. Mm -hmm. I feel like breakfast food is supposed to help you start your day. Yeah. Right? None of that shit that I like <laughs> for breakfast food makes me want to start my day. As a matter of fact, it's yeah. supposed to end my day. <laughs> yeah. Right? And so like, and then that 110 freeway, after you eat that shit and you drive the one, and it was like two exits, but mm -hmm. it's just that apparently James Dean died yeah. on the 110 because it's all curvy and shit. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah, eating that sleepy comatose. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so nobody went back because basically they no. were eating those burritos or that's why you didn't go back. <laughs> that's why I didn't go back a lot. I didn't go back a lot. Um, but also like mm -hmm. if you give like high school kids um, back, kind of freedom yeah yeah of course if you're off campus it's so easy just not to go back it's particularly right. worse mm -hmm. when you know there's a period where you already know what college you're going to yeah you know what i mean where, yeah. where, where you've gotten accepted yeah that there's like like maybe a month or two months of just like yeah so what are we doing here well i i mean the only problem with that mm -hmm. is like you still need to finish your oh um Hold on. Uh, not the friend we we're looking for, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. You you need to get it right. Uh, so um, did you, the uh senior year when there is like. When is the the time where you go, you pull back? You're like, you know what? I'm done. All I need to do is show up. Mm 
you know? Well, I, the problem with that, mm. um, uh, is, you know, I felt the same way. Mm. I cut school a lot mm. my senior year, mm. but I, you had to finish a certain amount of credits to graduate, to graduate. Right. right? Otherwise you go to summer school right. and go, a lot of seniors had to go to summer Ooh, school that's... and I was on the summer school route if I didn't pass those final classes, mm -hmm. right? So I was really, uh, I was screwed. Like I really, actually, this this is kind of sad to think about, but my dad passed away, right? Mm. Uh, while I was a senior mm. and he passed away in May. Ooh. And so we only had a couple of months left. Right. And I remember a couple of teachers actually let me off the hook. Okay. Right. So, I mean, I didn't give them a guilt trip or anything. Right. I just remember I, I was expecting F, like, mm. to fail uh -huh. their classes, but then they gave me C's or D's. Wow. Uh, just to let me, because, you know, the last couple months, mm. I was still showing up and stuff. At least I was trying. Mm. There was one class. Mm. Uh, he basically was like, he was a really nice guy, actually, mm. but he was like, Bobby, I got to fail you, man. It's like you didn't do the midterm mm. or the, you know, like I wasn't even, yeah, I wasn't coming to class. He's like, honestly, you shouldn't even come to the rest of them, basically. Like, wow. it's like, you're going to summer school. Like wow. I, at one point I was just like, damn it. You know, I really screwed up. I didn't do the midterm. It was a sculpture class, right? And I remember he was, he was um, sit, out sick for a week one time because uh. he had like, uh, some kind of surgery right. to do, right? So we had like a substitute teacher. And one day, Tony Bennett walks in. Mm. This was like in June, July. Wow. The end of the year, right? And I, yeah, everyone was like, Tony Bennett, because a lot of like celebrities came through our uh, school because we, we were like a performing arts high school in New right. York, right? So Tony Bennett walks in, uh, and I'm like thinking to myself, man, like uh, that kind of sucks. Our teacher wasn't here, here. His name is Mr. Greenberg. Right. We called him Herb. Uh, he just like called him by his first name, Herb Greenberg. Herb Greenberg. Yeah. So Herb wasn't there that day. Mm -hmm. And I was like, shit, Tony Bennett just walked in. Mm -hmm. I remember him walking out of the classroom after looking at the artwork in the class. Right. Because he's a painter, you know. Uh, so he left and I remember run, I ran out after him. Uh, I had a uh, my journal, uh, which was a sketchbook. Right. And like a large sketchbook. And I opened it up. I said, hey, Mr. Bennett, my our Herb <laughs> is gone. Uh, like our teacher, uh, Mr. Greenberg uh, is actually out, you know, because of surgery. Mm. And I'm sure he'll be really upset that he missed you. Mm. Would you mind signing something mm. for him? Mm. And so he wrote to Mr. Greenberg, you're doing a great job. Uh, keep up the good work or something uh, uh, like that. And he signed Tony Bennett. And then I um, I saved it. And when, when Herb came back, mm. I gave him I gave him the the signed piece of paper. Right. And like he said thank you and and all and all that. So I still thought I was gonna fail the class. Right. But actually I didn't even get like a D. He gave me an A. I got an A in that class. Wow. Didn't have to go to summer school. The rest of the classes, they let me go, like a couple of them. Right. And, and the rest I passed, you right. know, so um, my dad saved my ass. <laughs> but Tony, also Tony, Tony Bennett. Bennett. Two Tonys. My dad's his name is Tony also. <laughs> so I'm, I, I've been like, and one of my best friends, Tony Park. Like I'm, I've always had this like affinity towards uh, people named Tony. <laughs> so, <laughs> then you probably love my dad. Is your dad's name Tony also? Anthony. No way. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I would. Uh, yeah. He would like, oh, but I bet you. I'm very talkative today. Both oh of God. if you and my dad were sitting down together mm -hmm. for like food, mm -hmm. it would be the most. It would be the quietest. Why? Because my dad is don't talk. He's stolen. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. um. I got the play-by-play -play from DPD. Uh -huh. uh, DPD needed to come to my house. To pick some stuff up? To pick DVDs up some DVDs, right? right? Yeah. 
uh, and uh, and uh, so my mom being like most Korean moms, mm-hmm. like, oh, Moi, did you eat? Pa mo kaso, right? Mm-hmm. And so yeah, come on in. And they had a he DPD came into the house. Yeah, my mom and dad were there. My mom, she does most of the talking, uh-huh. and my dad is just stoic, just mm, uh-huh. don't say shit, uh-huh. you know. And if D if DPD yeah can't get my father to talk, um, I probably I'll couldn't. be damned if you can get him to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I might be able to. You know, it's all about like how interested you are in you know your common acquaintance, right? Right. So I there's a lot of questions I have about you, Danny. <laughs> Like you and DPD are uh, were close are closer, and he probably knows more about you. So I would probably ask have a like a list of questions I would want to get out of. <laughs> um, oh man! Uh, well, it looks like our buddy is uh, not calling, but yeah. so we will just continue to yeah. fill this episode up. We are already half hour through the episode. Yeah. We just got maybe another fifteen minutes to go. Yeah, maybe we can actually get our work done. Hey. And then um, we'll grab, maybe that grab that drink. And then uh, yeah. I'll, call, I'll just call in sick tomorrow. If you don't. Tomorrow is Wednesday. When, oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> or um, you can work from home. I can, I, I st- we still need you to work, Danny. All right. I'll work from home. <laughs> uh, uh, so the um, this, this Friday, this past Friday, mm-hmm. uh, you know, like, because when I do stand up here in Korea, yeah, there's a lineup, right? Of lineup of let's say seven people, mm-hmm. right? And they're always going to put me at the end. Mm-hmm. And the reasoning being is, no matter what happens in front of me, mm-hmm. I have to make it so that everyone got their money's worth. Sure, right? So if the show goes well in front of me, then I have not that much pressure, right? Right, you're the closer. But if it's if, like, like, if everyone did well in front of me, then I can be a little bit more experimental. Okay. Yeah. People got their money's worth. Right. Right. But for the most part, people are eating shit on stage. <laughs> okay. Right. Because they're not used to the environment. Uh, it's like a theater. It's no there's the movie no, theater. No booze. Right. No nothing. Huh. The laughter, like the the this audio, kind of just dies in in uh-huh. the, like just dissipates into the walls. Right. And so, like, it's, ha, ah, done. And so, I was like, fuck, I was getting mad because yeah. I have a goal of trying to at least come up with a, a brand new 30 minutes by yeah. June. Okay. So that I can have an hour, a new a new hour, okay. right? And so, I was being frustrated. But then this Friday, uh, like, even the guys that suck were doing well. Really? Like, I don't want to say suck, but mm-hmm. even the ones that usually <laughs> eat <laughs> shit... Not- Right, uh, even the ones that are met met with silence mm-hmm. was doing well. Everyone like bang, 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 and I was like, "Oh shit, it's time for me to be a little bit more experimental." Right, uh-huh. mm-hmm. and uh, I'm happy that I tried out new shit. Mm-hmm. And in my mind, I was like, "Oh, I can go on with this, right?" Mm-hmm. Like, and I and I actually put up. The thing is, I I put up the the uh, like a small clip of it on YouTube. Yeah on the channel except it was taken by a cell phone at the very back of the theater so i try to zoom up and when i zoom up i look like like tetris yeah i I look like minecraft (laughs) minecraft i was gonna say i look like a japanese genital but (laughs) (laughs) sorry uh, yeah. yeah but um uh the idea was so the talk was that you know how prostitution is illegal in Korea, mm-hmm. but every time when I walk down the streets of Hongdae or or Gangnam, there's all these like flyers or whatever. Mm-hmm. So to me, they look like a uh, prostitute, a uh, Pokemon cards, <laughs> right? And I'd be like, "Oh, this is a rare item," you know. And I'd be like, "I choose you," <laughs> right? And I throw it out and I go, "Oh, but wait, you just blah saw," right? And I just, I just, I just really go into it, uh-huh. and uh, I was like, "Oh, this is." This is something. It even though to me it's not like a oh my god, it's like a hit joke, like a like a classic joke. I'm like, I'm glad that I'm finally getting to the, say shit. The know? reason the but for some 
that that joke kind of goes over my head because mm. I don't know how Pokemon works. Right, right, right. Like I literally have never seen an episode Me of neither. Pokemon. I don't know how that works. Me neither. How I've never you, seen. You, I've oh. never seen Pokemon. Uh huh. But like I can get the gist of okay. yeah a challenging mm-hmm. you know situation. I couldn't say hook or baseball it did well, cards though, because people right. understand yeah, it. Yeah. Right. And then it's just me going like you know so. The concept of Pokemon is somebody goes, hey, I'm going to battle this dude with yeah. this Pokemon, right? Okay. Right? And then this Pokemon comes out and they fight, right? So I'm like, hey, do this attack or whatever, right? Uh-huh. So I'm the trainer, right? So now I throw a a, a, a hooker uh-huh. right on the street and then uh-huh. I go, oh, I hope I'm going to eat you. And then okay. I, and I start training. They'll be like, now, blowjob, go. <laughs> right, right, oh, right, that's right, what right, it is. Right, 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 okay. Right. So I was like saying all this crazy shit. Now right. I feel bad because yeah. I actually played those clips mm. at home no, no. in the kitchen. Ooh. And I played it. I, I put it out really loud uh-huh. so um, my wife could hear it. Uh-huh. But... The baby was uh, yelling right, and stuff, so right. she only got like some words, and she was like, right. "I'll just listen to it yeah, later. It's yeah. on your Instagram, right? Yeah. On his Instagram." But my mother-in-law and my father-in-law were awake too, oh, so yeah. I wonder if they had heard some of the words. Because the second one, the, <laughs> the second clip I put up was even worse. I played both. Yeah, the second one. <laughs> yeah, the second one was uh, like I've been watching so much porn now that I've been leaving comments. On Pornhub, that's my new hobby, is being a professional commenter on Pornhub. Okay. You know? Like first. No comment. Or or or, <laughs> or or what Koreans say? You know what Koreans like? They go, "This is fake." They they say that shit a lot. Mm-hmm. Like you know, especially the like the comedian ones where they're prank videos. Mm-hmm. This is fake. Okay. That's what they write a lot. Chujagim. Mm-hmm. You know. Right, and I go, I go, and so what if it's fake? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Who cares? These people are trying to make you laugh. Yeah, yeah, they faked it or whatever. Like, like you know the Ben Phillips videos. A lot of them have to be like, yeah, fake, right? But people go like, this is fake. Yeah, so it's not cool. Like, but that it's kind of a fad to call out fake. Prank videos. You can't please everyone, right? right? So uh, th- this is the thing. Like I post every now and then on uh, Reddit mm. uh, photos, mm. or and then there, there's always somebody that's like they don't like they they prefer like phones out of a camera because it's like more uh, uh, like a camera out of a phone because it's it's not touched up. Mm. It's not. You know, like, why would you do that to the sky mm. when the sky is already beautiful as it is? Just like, could you relax? It's just a photo. It's right. an imper- interpretation of a photo. Right. Like 98% of the people like it. Right. And then there's always like 2% that always have to be like. I want to see the pollution. Yeah. Or like, yeah. yeah so, um, no, yeah, but, but I feel like that the internet and YouTube and all that, like there's tons of people, trolls, right? They right. call them trolls. Right. There's trolls plus there's just people that are just like just miserable Fs. No, but but, <laughs> like, but you know what though? <laughs> what I realized is that ironically, mm-hmm. the people that use those porn sites mm-hmm. are typically nicer people online. Meaning like the comments. The com there's no like racist oh, or there's fucked no up bad shit. Comments you know what I mean? There might be a little bit of like like whatever, yeah. right? Nobody's like making new thumbnails mm-hmm. and like, you know, like making it more like aggressive. They just capture they just it's like a you know, this part of the uh, scene and then that that's the thumbnail. They'll just they'll write like, oh, they were sweating a lot. I hope they got some water afterwards. Right. They're, they're <laughs> like nice that. people, right? Right. Yeah. Nicer yeah. people. Yeah. Then, then like, you know, like thumb, thumbs down, like uh, who thumbs down a porno, right? Like, you know, yeah. I mean, they do actually. But like, so my whole thing was like, it's ironic that the community that watches the porn mm-hmm. They seem to be more uh, 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 nicer people online mm-hmm. than like, you know, 
uh, somebody said this, and it's not mine. I forget which comic, but like, like reading racist comments on porn. Okay. Like, like it makes it like, like, why would you be racist watching with your with your pants down? <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, um, but anyway. So yeah. So if you played both of those, how about this? Anything that has my voice in it, mm -hmm. don't play it in front of your your your, your in laws. That, that's that's a good rule. That's, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll pro yeah. That's. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, yeah. It's funny. Um, oh, so this one, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Well-known podcast in Korea mm -hmm. uh, has uh, decided to stop podcasting because, and the culprit is YouTube. So originally it only started off as audio five years ago, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it picked up some steam and then they were like, yeah, but we're not making money. So let's try to monetize mm -hmm. as we started a YouTube channel, right? So similarly to the way we're doing it and how a lot of the, uh, the, the podcasts of the Western world does yeah. it, mm -hmm. they put up like the full episodes and highlights on a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the comments, and it, this made me think of you, was that the one of the major reasons why uh, they stopped was because one of the comedians has a son who's old enough to Google his father and see that his father does this shit. <laughs> okay. Right? <laughs> okay. They're not old enough to listen to it on Papang yeah. or, or whatever, but mm -hmm. they are old enough to be able to Google his yeah. father <laughs> and it made me think of you because every now and again you you throw up that comment yeah. like uh you know like what if my dad or what if my, my son or uh, my niece and nephew right uh, watch like, your shit embarrassing to think about yeah i i i go through that a lot actually. really yeah everyone every now and then i'll think about it oh my gosh if my niece or nephew or my my cousin's kids mm. like if they if they even look at one episode of Nunchi podcast and yeah. hear me swear, like I think about those, like I overthink it actually. Jesus. So I I don't know. I, I mean, there is. If this podcast was making money, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Like you know, like uh, if my kid goes, if if this podcast was making a lot of or decent amount of money, we're making a living off of it, right? Mm -hmm. And our kid goes, my kid goes. Hey, hey, Dad! Why are you doing that? I'd be like, so you can eat, motherfucker, right? Like I want, like I want to be like that, right? Hey, so, yeah. P so Pete, yeah. Peter J, who yeah. is gonna be our guest, yeah. just finally texted us. Yeah. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you guys done, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, let's just get them all real quick. Yeah. Actually, it, it was in a, yeah. a shared room that. DPDs in too. Maybe uh, we could get both of them on. We'll just get. We'll just get. A, let's just get Pete, Pete. on. Okay. Let Let me call Pete right now and just we'll just tell him. Hey, we'll have to do it next time. Yeah. Because. Uh, what the fuck? Why did it take? Why did it take this long? Hello. Oh, it's ringing. <laughs> He's charged up, ready to make a statement what, uh, for the community. Yo, Pete. What's up, Pete? Yo. Why Yo. why did it take forever for you to fucking call, Pete? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was drunk. I got caught up with a soul sausage. Oh. Uh, Are you it. drunk now? Yeah, I, I, No, I'm not drunk. Yeah. I was uh I was catching up with soul sausage and uh Esther Choi Mukbang. Yeah. You can, uh, I don't know if you guys know, I was supposed to do a reality show with Mukbang with Esther. Oh. Mm-hmm. And it got it got greenlit by Bravo, oh. mm -hmm. and then COVID hit, and it got dropped. Oh no! Oh, man. So like, t I guess you know, like the food world, there's like like their little secret society. So okay. Ted is friends with Esther, and then they hit me up like, "Hey, what are you doing?" And I was fucking fumed up from all watching all. Am I allowed to curse? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So if I was fucking fumed up <laughs> from this fucking watching another fucking anti Asian attack shit right. yeah. in New York of all places. Oh my god. Where this fucking dude just fucking fucking tornado kicked a freaking Korean lady that was going to church, sixty three year old lady, and then the security dude doesn't do fucking nothing. 
And I got so charged with that. And I was mm-hmm. just fucking writing down all the shit that I wanted to say. But then Ted texted me. And Ted's such a good soul that it pieced me out. And I went to meet up with them. And I, I'm calm now. Uh, uh, but, just a little correction, Pete. Uh, it was a front yeah, kick. Yeah, what did I say wrong? It was a front kick, not huh? a tornado kick. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't have a... <laughs> I think it was a Filipino lady. And it was a, fi- it was a Filipino lady, not a Korean lady. Uh, she was Filipino? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Oh, but, I thought she was Korean because I just saw church. We're, yeah. we're just, we actually, we're just, just uh, correcting you for our audience sake because yeah, yeah. we know you're not good. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're, um, you know that I'm not what? Uh, we know you're not good with facts. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, actually, well, so we I'll, should, we should, whatever, we should do a real no intro Vietnamese. though. <laughs> no, but we should and, do well, a real you know, intro. Care. Uh, so. We, we were, uh, Pete, we were live for about 45 minutes. Yeah. You know? And, uh. We got to wrap up now. We got, (laughs) we usually do an hour show, uh, thinking that you would, you would call, uh, like like five minutes into it. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, that's all good. Uh, but, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is. And wait for another time. (laughs) (laughs) It is, it is Peter J. Yeah. Uh, from the Cape Town Cowboys, ladies and gentlemen, uh, people have been asking, hey, when are you going to bring Peter on? So I figured uh, we would bring you on this episode. Uh, yeah. So, Pete, uh, without, you know, I mean, we could break it up into another episode, too. But like, no, we're, uh, we're we got to we got to wrap up for today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Wrap it up then. Yeah. Don't but- worry. Wrap it up. I wanted, yeah. yeah, and what I wanted to talk about, I don't think we have enough time for. Like, I wanted to talk about high school days. I'm not trying to talk about high school again, man. Sorry. <laughs> Leave that alone, man. Bury that shit in the grave, man. Not, yeah, yeah, kidding. yeah. I didn't acknowledge you. Sorry. Fuck. I'm kidding. Get over it. You got to kid. Nice, dude. Hey, <laughs> I, kidding, I, I, I like this. I like this Pete where he goes, fuck it. See, he's... he's... I'm, not, I'm not... I'm tired of feeling guilty about this shit. So stay quiet. <laughs> And feeling bad about it. We're over this already. You know? Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, but I feel All bad. Right. I'm sorry, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> so this is so this week's uh, so th- right now what we're doing is a preview to another time when we're gonna have you on for right. for a full episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 But Pete, how are you doing, man? How how is yeah. uh how are you dealing with uh life in COVID ridden LA? Or riddled. Um, yeah, not to get too much into it because I know you guys are wrapping up, but I've been I've been good. You know what? Like I looked at it as like you know what? If you come out of this just complaining about you were just bored and this and that and the third man, you're a fucking dork. Mm. Like I really felt like this was an opportunity. Like I looked at so honestly, I I looked at this as an opportunity to just make my, my come out of this the best that I can be. Mm. You know, there were so many things mm. that I wanted to do that I never had a time to do. So I went back and just did it and worked on scripts. I, I mm-hmm. brushed up on my spans. I started boxing. I just all this different kind of stuff that I wanted to do that I never got a chance to do. So it's been good. Nice. You know, nice. Um, I, I, I feel, you know, worse for the people that do a lot because I a lot of people pass away from all this stuff. You yeah, know? right, right, right. So not to get all dark, but I have friends that committed suicide from this and, you know, all this stuff. So I was just like, when that kind of stuff that really kind of chunky and treasures you. Yeah. And and I came out of this even more Korean than I've ever been, man. I've watched a lot of Korean dramas. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, actually, I'm so yeah. Korean right now, man. I'm God, so Korean now, like, man. <laughs> 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 like, I'm, I'm like, like, I'm like so Korean. I'm so proud to be Korean. Like, yeah. Yo, you know, we I'm, speak I'm, Korean. Like, you can You can bust yeah. out your Korean what? right now. Mangwon uh, yeah, I'm not yuk. ready for that yet. But <laughs> Mangwon <laughs> Mangwon yo, yuk. Reply, ni- Reply 1988. Yeah. That's my shit, man. Yeah. That's a very yeah, good I drama. I, watch I haven't man. seen it yet, but yeah. I need to see oh it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. It changed my life. It's old to my father. Reply 1988. So good. So did you cry in the, mo- in the drama, Pete? I didn't cry. I didn't <laughs> cry. I freaking... I was... Yo, man. Like... That show, in one episode, I'm, like, bawling, like, every second. <laughs> like, it's just so good. Like, I learned so much about myself. Like, I became a better person through that show. Oh, really? I like. I got to see this Yeah, show. I want right. to see if, if it's It's so legit. amazing to me. Like, it's know- so, like, educational. It's just, like, it's so, 
Yeah, and that's why I, I and and I watched it because you know me and Bobby and Tony were doing the uh, flushing, right? And we got we hit a bump in the road, and I was like, "Yo, man, I think it's this missing something," and I didn't know where it was. And then Reply nineteen eighty just rocked my world. Wow! Like with stuff, I was just like, "Oh my gosh, dude! Like we need to make this, we need to just capture this the essence of Reply nineteen eighty for American audiences." Right. All right. Like, all right. You know, don't give away what, like, yeah. everything we're trying to do with our script here. No. Okay. Huh? So, don't give away like our our plans. You know, <laughs> for our script. No. 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 Yeah. You already did that with DPD. Like I'm oh, like yeah. the script. talk. Like sorry, man. No, I sent <laughs> DPD the script, but yeah, I mean, huh? I, yeah, I sent it to him before you told me not to. So <laughs> I. I actually didn't think yeah, he was going to read it so fast. He read it in like two days. Uh, DPD is, uh, he. you give him something and mm -hmm. even if he's busy, he will read it. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, man. But Pete, uh, we got to do this again. Um, yeah, yeah, we got to wrap, wrap up. up. Uh, next time, uh, let's, 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 let's do an hour of this instead of uh, seven minutes of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, let's you, do it. Whenever, you, can, you can make fun of my out. my ramen face, you know. Uh, Do you have anything yeah, to plug, yeah. Pete? Right now, uh, actually, uh, I'm what? just kidding. I don't. You don't, I'm not giving you any more time. <laughs> do, do, do you have anything to plug? What is this? Like? <laughs> um, plug. Do you have anything coming out on TV or like anything like you want to shout out? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I can't wait to get you back on. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah, just the stuff that we're working on, but it's not even out there right now. So. Right. We'll I'm excited though for that last thing to talk about that. Not to plug it, but yeah. You know what? I really feel like the stuff that happened out here in the states. I don't know if you guys are all too with that with Atlanta murders and all that shit. Yeah. They were like, they were like martyrs for us. Mm. To be honest with you, like my heart goes out to their families, and like it breaks mm -hmm. my heart to even mm -hmm. hear the kids talking about what all that stuff, you know, what they're going through. But man, this is, they were like our martyrs. And right now all eyes are on us and we just got to capitalize off this stuff. People are interested in us like they've never been before. Right. You know, so it's us, it's our ball to drop if we don't capitalize off it, you know? Right. And I've seen some projects recently mm -hmm. and I'm not going to name no names, but that really dropped the ball. And mm -hmm. that inspires me that we can do better. And within our circle, I know we haven't, been talking a lot and and whatever but i just know so like i'm so confident in our community mm -hmm. that we have so much more to t uh to offer yeah right. I, I agree i totally sense. agree right yeah like we yeah. talk about it within ourselves that we're desensitized to that that white america doesn't even know what we're about to bring wow yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying we've yeah. been desensitized because we talk about it all the time so we're like oh people don't want to see that no they want to see that because i've seen projects that's out there that getting so much accolades i'm like what that yeah mm. not to hate on it but it's that, cool though i mean they I gotta go through that. Be on that platform right so so this is an exciting time for us and we're all equipped we're all locked and loaded with so much that we don't even realize that america's been dying to see yeah we, you know? we, we so got some i'm excited i'm excited i think we're right around the corner from make you know making our marks yeah, hurry up, so hur hurry up, and hurry up, and I want all my friends to like be uh be in bigger positions that that, that they Absolutely. can they can get me get me out of here. <laughs> no, you're gonna put yourself out of there. You know, like everyone's gonna get start. You know, so I know. we've been doing this yeah. with our passion, without any hope, without any light. Right. If we're doing that without any light, without any hope, and being broke and doing this shit, damn man, you know what's about to happen. When the yeah. door is opening now, mm -hmm. you know, wow. man, I needed, I needed some, I just didn't realize it till right now, but I needed some Peter in my life. You didn't some know. Some Pedro in my life. <laughs> no, absolutely. <laughs> That's what I, cause the reason why was cause like, you know, you, Pete, you know, Bob, Bob's always like, Bobby's always like, you know, kind of on, on the depressed, but you know, like just if he gets beat down a little bit, then, uh, you know, he's, he has no energy. Right. So I was like, you know, yeah. this talk with Pete would probably cheer both of us up. Uh, so that's why no. we wanted to talk to you, buddy. Oh no, man. I'm amped up. I'm excited. I'm yeah. so excited. I'm excited. I'm like, I'm even watching you guys. I'm like, almost like, do you guys even know what you guys are doing and what you're about to do? Like, 
I mean, that's well, why. Well, tell I us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> tell us. No, I, I, I do, man. Yeah. I do. Because it's like, it's, it's, it's our time now. It's, it's happening. Like, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, I love the fact that Netflix is investing in ne- uh, Netflix career because it's amazing. But in America right now, people are curious about what, what we've been through. Right. You know, and we got to do it right. We can't do it like some other people that have been not doing it right. You know, right. Yeah. And they haven't been as passionate as we have. You know what? I almost feel like the fact that we haven't had success makes us even that much hungry to put it out there the right way. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We haven't been we haven't been diluted and spoiled by the success that they've had. Right. You know, that hunger mm-hmm. has made us into a beast. And I'm fucking ready to eat now, you know? <laughs> Damn. So, Damn. And I, right. I'm sure we all are. Hey, finish you know? the script so. first. All right. Let's, uh, <laughs> we're so close. <laughs> Enough, enough of the talking. It's time to, to walk, not talk. And, and, now, and not only that, the fact that you guys in Korea and like we did this, it's almost like, you know, yeah. we're even bigger like that, you know? Right. Yeah. I mean, it. it we'll talk more about it in the future, but like our, the script yeah, yeah, we're working yeah, we'll on, about, fleshing, yeah. it's very but important that we I'm, understand I'm, I'm like ready. the Korea side of it and our folks, why they left this place. Right. Um, so I'm glad that at least Danny and I are here to kind of figure out that bridge, uh, at least in yeah. our script. Uh, we're really excited about it. So I, we, we can't, we can't really talk it up too much, but anyway, thanks. Yeah. yeah. Pete. Uh, you should. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Let's talk about it next time. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's get you back on and we'll, we'll do it right. You know? Um, yeah. Thanks for get, get some rest, right. man. I know you. Yeah. You got yeah, yeah. to right, sleep there. All right, bro. Later, Pete. All right. Fighting. Fighting. Mang Wan Yuck. Mang Wan Yuck. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Peter J from the Cape Town Cowboys, our brother. Uh, it was unfortunate that he called us uh, <laughs> at the end of the show. Like 45 minutes into the show. Uh, but we will for sure have another episode with more of Pete. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, you know what? Like I said, I knew that it was gonna it was gonna cheer us up. Mm-hmm. Hearing Pete's voice, yeah, and totally. That that weird, like yeah. that that the fire, the fire in his uh, mm-hmm. voice. Mm-hmm. You know, I did the opposite to him, where I would always what I would do is I'd piss him off, mm-hmm. right? And he would vent to me, uh, but I needed I needed a little Pete in my life, and mm-hmm. I hopefully we get more of it soon. So yeah. We'll thanks, get back on. thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks, if you guys. have any questions or comments, email us at nunchipodcast at gmail.com. Uh, follow us, like, subscribe, all that shit. Do it. Yeah, be safe out there. And um, please go and, you know, be, keep each other safe and uh, encourage one another and all that stuff. So thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.